I have standing with me a uh, special agent in charge, uh, Jim Smith, our gang uh, commander, Cephas, and our knight, uh, Lieutenant Croson. So approximately uh, 6, 10 p.m., uh, we received a call for service, uh, the shooting in progress, drive-by shooting in the 2100 block of Mid Lane. As officers arrived, uh, they quickly located African-American male, uh, which appears to be in his mid-20s, deceased on the scene. Uh, he was driving a white Mercedes vehicle. Uh, witnesses state that um, a black, newer model um, Mitsubishi SUV type vehicle with dark windows uh, came up on the vehicle, uh, began to fire. Uh, two suspects got out. Um, the only thing we have on them are they were dressed in black, all black with hoodies, possibly shades on. Uh, they fled either eastbound or westbound on San Felipe. Uh, that's all we have here. I could tell you there was a number of shots fired, um, as evident by the casings that's on the ground. Um, we do believe this is a targeted uh, incident. Uh, we don't know, don't have a lot of details. It's an active investigation. Uh, we are, as we normally do, reviewing surveillance cameras, uh, private and businesses. But I do ask the public, if you see something, or if you've seen something out on this scene, or you know something, please do. Uh, we don't know the victim, don't know who he is, but we do know that he has a family. And I think it's always important that we say uh, and ask the city to pray for the family. But again, um, and I want to thank the residents over here and the business owners. Everybody's been very supportive, but you can imagine the stress and the level of stress when something happens like this at, you know, 6, 6 p.m. Uh, or just a little bit after 6 p.m. But again, it's a, a targeted incident. It's, it's, it's uh, and, and, and I think that's important for everybody to know. Uh, we'll open up for questions. Could you, could you say what kind of weapons were I'm not sure. Um, I, I didn't uh, look at them on, on the scene as they're processing it right now, but uh, multiple, multiple uh, shots fired out here. What, what do you think the connection was between the victim and the suspect? I have no idea right now, and I don't want to speculate, but uh, I can tell you something. Uh, a number of uh, uh, individuals are working on this, and I have my partner here. Uh, um, my partner in crime, and I say it. Um, our great relationship we have, and, and not only with uh, uh, Special Agent in Charge Smith, all our other federal partners and our local partners. And I just want to say this, uh, we've got a great city with a lot of great citizens. And I've said it before, um, you harm somebody, you kill somebody in our city, uh, no storm left unturned, we're coming after you. So uh, anybody that knows anything, get us the information, but uh, we're hard at work trying to find out who's responsible for this. Was he at the bank? Did he take no, out? no, just here, right here on the street in 2100 block. Um, so he was actually northbound um, when the vehicle approached and began shooting. So why is the FBI here? That's my partner. That's my partner. And they, they're lending support. I don't want to talk, speak for him, and he, he might want to say, say a few words, he but did. yeah. Yeah, in a lot of these cases, whether it be a drive-by or some of these murders that we believe that we could bring our resources and to assist, we will do that with the FBI. Um, the public doesn't really know that we're behind the scenes supporting our partners. Uh, and it's not just here, around the country and around the world, we, we support our partners. And so a lot of crimes out there. We, we are supporting our partners, we're behind the scenes, and we're bringing our tools to the fight because things such as this, this drive-by shooting just can't happen. It just cannot happen in the community. It doesn't matter where it is in the city of Houston or in any other areas. It just can't happen like this without us assisting our partners to try to bring this to an end. One correction, too, on the vehicle. Um, it's a black uh, Subaru. I think I said Mitsubishi, but a Subaru. And that's what we believe. And uh, as scenes are fluent, things change, but that's what we believe at this time, okay? And you said the men got out of the car. At one, at one point, they could have shot from the vehicle or whatnot. The, the fact is, multiple shots. So they did get out at one point. So, know, did, yeah. Was the victim's vehicle stopped, or were they, did they? Can you talk to us about how that interaction works? I'm not sure. Um, you know, because stories and, and it changes. I want to wait until we get full 
surveillance of it. And, but at some point, they approached him in the 2100 block here and began shooting. I don't know if they cut him out, boxed him in or whatever, but uh, that's, that's part of the investigation. And as we get uh, more footage and get a chance to review it, we'll put it out. And what makes you believe it was targeted? Uh, based on our, our experience, and it's a few things that I, I just don't want to go into right now, uh, it's not random. Yeah, okay? Anything you else? You said you had, you didn't have an ID on the victim. Do you believe that his wallet and ID have been taken by the shooters? Or maybe he oh, I, don't, I don't think so, but uh, we had, uh, when you come upon a, a deceased individual, we have to wait for the medical examiners to come and, and uh, the investigation on the scene, and then we... Uh, try to identify that individual, okay? All right, thank y'all, all right.